What is up DTube uh, Steam Blockchain? So today I want to I want to talk a little bit about this topic of connecting with humans in on, in our online age, and that I sort of underestimated how long time this is gonna take in terms of humans communicating in ways where both sides understand. So there's no, so what I'm seeing a lot is like, it's really probably gonna take longer than I thought in terms of most arguments that I see on the internet and most discussions, most of it is misinterpretations or being too quick to judge something, right? Something we see right now, a lot on on YouTube, a lot of stuff people are talking back and forth. I mean, if you really take a look at what it is they are arguing about, it is most of the times it's like small things misinterpreted and then it just snowballs. And that people are constantly like on, on guard, kind of trying to look at, is someone trying to do this to me? Uh, you know, it's like the thing with the internet right now, which is kind of complex, is communication where both sides understands. And when they understand where other humans are coming from and all of this. And, you know, it's like you got this internet thing, right? And then what sort of happened is... So, it's, so first, you know, people started to make websites, kind of derp around. They experimented a lot. You said we've seen crypto right now. But uh, then what happens is, of course, you have companies coming in that want to make money and want to make a monopoly and what then happens is they pull a lot of people together into just one place and then they have algos right that sort of interfere with how humans communicate or let's just say it just slows down the process of um of the very genuine genuine stuff because usually in really genuine stuff there is there's less sort of let's say monetary value in terms of advertising um so so of course now i think about the, the big guys like the googles the facebooks and all this that you sort of get these big silos eventually of data and and then the, the, the Twitter as well. And what is basically happening is, I mean, it really slows, it really slows down the natural way how internet probably should have gone. And um, it's really interesting to observe monopolies and how it really can slow down stuff for decades and that this is also maybe something that may happen in um, in this space in the crypto space for example and what you sort of realize eventually and i think that more people are going to realize this as as more time goes on is that the best way like in many ways i heard a lot of a lot of people say yeah, there's a lot of mediocre stuff on uh, on DTube, for example. But the way I look at it is like there is a very there is a important aspect that comes down to video, and that is it's easier to understand other people like where they're coming from uh, to get. It's just easier to understand more people or to understand a person when you're, for example, seeing a person or let's say they're recording something. It's just more, it's easier to understand. Yeah, it's just easier to understand another person. And, um, 
and you sort of realize, oh, it, it really is like a human. They're really doing great things. They're trying their best and all of this. So the aspect of video that's interesting is that it's not just about entertaining people. It's about communicating with people and trying to bring in the human aspect in, uh, in communication and that this is probably going to be critical eventually that the internet cannot just go on and just be like entertainment and just 100% skip on uh, online communication in terms of connecting with people. But what I am seeing is, yeah, it's probably going to take way longer than I thought in terms of First, you do have, for example, that people speak different languages, but then you also have, like, on on a lot of stuff, for example, Instagram, how it works is, well, you have people taking some photo and then they're writing a tiny piece of text, but usually you don't get, there's not that much data that you have to work on uh, from those things, usually, and then go from that to connecting with the person. Well, it's very interesting with video where you can see that someone is someone is basically having willingness to truly invest in something and truly try to see where online communication can go if they're actually doing videos on a daily basis. I mean, it's like proof of investment that they're investing time and energy in... Um, in trying to do something daily and that it's, it's more as a job and that they're really, they're really seeing, they're really looking at this landscape and seeing, well, that people actually connect with other people or that they're actually showing themselves that, that they're, this is a big aspect, that they're actually showing some form of vulnerability. That is something that I think a lot of people sort of miss out on that if you don't have that um, vulnerability aspect, it becomes, it just slows down. It just slows down to connect with humans aspects. And I don't think, I mean, I think eventually, I mean, eventually it's going to evolve to that aspect where, where everyone's going to understand other people and all that. And we're going to have translators that are going to understand the other person. And they're going to understand even other people's personality types. So it will be less misinterpretations. But this might be in 10 years in the future or 15 years in the future. But the thing is, we don't really know how that's going to evolve. Um, it's kind of uncertain right now hopefully, or it probably will move to the better, uh, but it might be some bumps on the roads, but you can really see that, yeah, it's going to take a long time. It's just going to take a long time to, to get other people to understand another human and basically have some form of acceptance that a human is, is a human, right? And it takes time to go over things, to sort of understand where other people are coming from, where or what kind of personality type they have, um, what kind of, um, you know, their whole way of looking at the world. This is a thing that's very interesting is that like everyone comes with their own view of the world. Everyone has their own logic that makes sense. And... It's just that in these quick sort of uh, communications uh, with like instant communications, there's so much, there's just so much, um, it's so harder to sort of communicate because there's so much stuff that is being missed out, right? And uh, I think even, yeah, you know, it's kind of interesting to it's interesting to look at so this thing with the internet how it's still like super young, super young that it's not like 
I mean, it's only been here for around 25 years, right? And most of that time, people haven't had super fast phones, they haven't had super fast internet, and that even right now, most people are not even plugged into the internet. They, you know, we're still, still in the early phase of sort of communicating, and and also at this information. Uh, let's call it information onslaught period where people can basically Google for any information and they can sort of find out any sort of information about anything. It, it does make this thing where, you know, people have access to so much stuff so quickly, something that they didn't have access to in the past. So it's going to take a longer time you really notice that it's going to take a long time for people to master communication on the internet and and seeing that other people are invested in something, that seeing that other people are trying their best and you just be nice to people, right? You just be nice. Uh, we see, for example, that when people argue and stuff like that, most of the times it doesn't really lead to anywhere. It doesn't, you know, it's like, it's usually very petty stuff. And it's like if everyone saw that other people try their best every day at doing the best job possible, that it sort of eventually would move forward. Uh, you can see now in real time, for example, people struggling uh, to look at how how con connections on the internet should work, uh, with relationships and, and, and stuff like that. And, uh, and I really do think that a lot of people miss that out in terms of video if they only look at it as the maybe like okay this is like super quality uh this is mediocre and i get i get the point of that that it's like yeah we should give good rewards to quality content but i don't really think there is a thing as mediocre content in many ways because even a person that's doing a daily vlog is they are putting a lot of vulnerability on the line and that's not mediocre content. Like if they really genuinely are like putting themselves out there, that's a lot of vulnerability shown and that is actually, I mean, super valuable, right? Because that it, that it, it takes a brave soul to do that, right? And that is something that I sort of think that a lot of people miss out on uh, when they're looking at content as I think many people are looking at content a lot of content is being produced that it seems as it's lazy stuff it seems as nobody really cares when they're doing it but most of like the content when people really putting themselves out there even if something may be a short video something like that it takes heart and soul it usually takes the whole day for them to sort of look at things, consider things, and, um, you know, it really takes a brave soul, right? And uh, I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to take, you know, it's like people really do miss that out, that that is mega valuable when people are really testing stuff out, putting themselves out there, and doing it also on a day-to-day -day basis. It is, I think, really moves people forward in terms of, I mean, proof of investment. They, they're investing themselves, right? Uh, you know, uh, and I really think eventually that that eventually moves stuff to a way where humans eventually then can understand other people much, much, much better, you know, uh, and when people sort of understand that other people are also humans, 
and that everyone is just trying their best. I think that's eventually going to make people a bit more calmer, friendlier, and just have more acceptance. Just have more acceptance, more understanding, and uh, you know, that, that's kind of interesting. And there are, of course, scenarios where, I mean, if you look at how uh, this tech stuff is going, I mean, it can clearly go in all kinds of directions. It can move to that people just, um, the way they look at relationships, that they might just turn it off completely. But it also may, look, may go to the phase, which, it's, which probably is more likely, that eventually people are going to see, well, we don't really have a choice, right? Eventually, like people are now doing a lot of stuff on the internet. I think 33% of the time, a lot of people spend time on the internet. And they eventually realize, well, this is a big part of human's life now. So eventually, they're going to have to figure out how connecting with humans on the internet, how it should be, how it should work. And it probably, it's going to be easier when better tech comes, uh, better technology, better, better smartphones, better internet, and better understanding of different languages. You know, th there is a lot of stuff involved, but it's, it's hard at the moment with a lot of monopolies, like these super big monopolies. They really, really slow stuff down, especially the peer-to-peer -peer stuff uh, where you want a system, and this is eventually where it's going, a peer-to-peer -peer system where it eventually goes from human to human, right? Without any middle, middleman, right? And that's eventually where tech is moving everything in. And it's kind of interesting to see, right? And, uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to talk a little bit about today. It's just that it's a little bit sad in, in some ways how it's going to take a longer time, that it might take up to a decade for, for people to understand other people's sides and sort of try to move things forward. Um... Yeah, but I think eventually it's going to get to that phase. And that I know, I know there's a lot of distractions right now. Like there's a lot of human distractions. First these monopolies, but then also that people have, a lot of people have some selfish agenda and, and all of this. And uh, maybe we're just going to have a phase, maybe five years or so, where people just have to express themselves. They, they need to put something out there, maybe something that something that they didn't have an avenue for before. Uh, right now with the internet, humans are starting to have avenues where they can sort of, they can play around, they can experiment, they can express themselves, they can try some humor, they can try stuff, uh, and eventually they are going to come to this phase where you see for example a lot of frustrations on on steam blockchain uh, but then I think eventually people are going to come to an acceptance of like they, they, they're going to come to a logic phase where they realize okay but okay this is how it is how can I do the best like how can I improve like how can I do what should I focus on? What should I invest in? What is like the best ideas that sort of can do the best? Because I mean, that's the thing, right? You can only do your best. Like you can look at things and, you know, you could try to move it forward, right? But nobody's perfect, right? Uh, but you can sort of look eventually, come to acceptance. Oh uh, yeah, this is me. Um, this is, you know, what I do. And how can we fix this? Like you look at something in the world maybe, and then you're like, okay, how can we fix this? Okay, so you see this, okay, we have the monopolies. Um, we have 
human communication, like what is the best way to communicate with other humans in the in, in the digital space? Well, it's video, so video is probably a good avenue eventually to make some kind of tokenized system, and then we sort of see that happening on the Steam blockchain, and um, yeah. Monopolies, silos. We see a lot of frustrations on, on many platforms about that, but then you sort of see grassroots movements slowly, slowly starting to pop up. And what I sort of think that people are missing a lot is many people are looking at okay, we should sort of have we should we need more we need more tokens. Or for example, we need we need more apps, right? We need more apps. But what I actually think it is what people are actually search for is probably human relationships, human connections, humans building up themselves, building up systems in themselves so they can sort of handle stuff in the world and how they can sort of do more stuff and sort of try to enhance themselves so they can do work daily to move stuff forward where they sort of have a routine, they sort of look at stuff going on in the world and uh, they have systems built up in themselves, inner technologies, where not the Elon Musk stuff, but it's like I think that you must have to look at themselves and, and come to a more mature level uh, where they can deal with more stuff in the world, right? So, yeah, that's what I want to talk a little bit about today that people are probably just searching for how to relate to this new internet phase and uh, and you know connections and how humans should sort of build societies I mean this is very nuanced how should humans build societies in this new sort of sphere uh, with high advanced technology and how should humans relate to other people uh, they should probably, I mean, if you just look at it, they need to become more aware, it's like more awoke, woke. <laughs> they need to become more woke. Um, yeah, it's it's a lot of stuff at the same time, to be honest. But humans have intelligence. They can sort of push it forward, sort of look at stuff, sort of try to evolve, right? Because... We try to evolve, like we try to move forward, right? Uh, and it's very exciting to see people sort of... It's very exciting to see people trying to do something, right? It's it's quite it's quite exciting because you sort of... A human is like a plant, right? It's like a... My friend told me this. Um, she basically has... Uh, she basically collects uh, cactus. Uh, and it costs like one euro, I think. And... It's very exciting for her because she can sort of see them grow, uh, and she takes photos of a cactus when it's when it's growing from time to time. And if she's just looking at the cactus from a day-to-day -day basis, she can't really see it grow. But if she takes photos of it, she can see that it's getting bigger, right? The cactus is growing, and that's kind of like you sort of feel when you really when you're really trying in life, you don't really have energy for a lot of other stuff like you really don't have energy because you're pushing all energy into really trying to do your best in something right uh so you only have energy for that and then you can just sleep like a baby right uh yeah a lot of fun stuff but connecting with humans in the online age it's really something new right Uh, yeah, that's what I want to talk a little bit about today. Have an awesome day. DTube, Steam Blockchain. Bye-bye.